Hello and welcome back to Random Vids. Today, I'm doing the top 10 best Mario Kart 8 retro tracks. So last week I did top 10 best Nitro tracks, but I didn't include Night or I didn't include Retro or DLC. This list will just be on the retro tracks, no Nitro since I already did that, and no um, deluxe tracks yet. So. Let's get started with the countdown at number 10. So here at number 10 is Royal Raceway from the Nintendo 64. Uh, I like this track. Like, I really do like this track a lot. It's a lot of fun. Um, there's so many things going on at once. I don't know what this, what else to say. It's a fun track. <laughs> I think in the original, you used to be able to go up there to Peach's Castle. You can't anymore, though. Like I said, I don't have a Nintendo 64 Mario Kart. I'm just stuck with this one for now. <laughs> Maybe someday in the future I'll get a Nintendo 64 Mario Kart. But for now, I just have the... the five newer ones, I guess. So, Royal Raceway, I mean, what else need I say about this track? It's a lot of fun to drive on, definitely, like, really good. The music is awesome as well. It's a good remake, too. Some of the remakes aren't really the best in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, but this one, they did a really good job on. So, nothing else I really have to, nothing else I really have to say about this track. It's a lot of fun, and it definitely, is a top 10 for me. Number nine. So here at number nine is Piranha Plant Slide. Of course I have to add this one. This was one of my favorite tracks from Mark Hurt 7 and I'm glad they brought it back. Oops. Smart steering's on. This is only 150 cc. I don't need smart steering. So anyway, I don't know about. I don't know. I just love this track so much. It's always been a pretty good track in my opinion, but I don't know. I've always liked this one. It's a lot of fun. There's so many things going on. The reason why it's better than Royal Raceway is probably because the uh, it's not quite as flat, I guess. But Royal Raceway isn't really that flat either. But this one's definitely a lot, I guess, less flat. Now, track-wise, I think it definitely looks a lot better than it did originally. But the song, honestly, isn't quite as good as it used to be back in the Mario Kart 7. I think the song got ruined because of all the jazz and just all the new instruments. I still think the song is fine, but it definitely is not as good as it used to be. But, nothing else I really have to say about this track. It's a lot of fun. It was always one of my favorite tracks in Mario Kart 7. And, of course, it's one of my favorite tracks in Mario Kart 8 as well. So, with that, um, let's just move on. Number 8. So here at number 8 is Yoshi Valley from the Nintendo 64. It's crazy to think how many Nintendo 64 tracks have been remade, and now there's only a total of one Nintendo 64 track that they still need to remake. Um, I think this track is pretty good. I like the multiple pathways. This track can honestly works well as a good battle track, if you think about it. And What's silly is that this actually was a battle track in the original Mario Kart 8 on the Wii U many, many years ago. Soon to be a decade ago. We need a new Mario Kart. <sighs> anyway, like, what need, What else need I say about this track? Oops. It's a lot of fun. And, um, 
it's always been a track that was really fun to drive on, just to take different paths to see which path, I guess, was fast, the pathway I thought was faster. So, nothing much else I really have to say about this track. It is a little more on the flat side, which is fine for a track like this, because it's just a lot of, it's a lot of fun to drive on. But honestly, the one, um, negative I do have about this track is the music. I don't know about you guys, but I just, ugh, I don't, I do not like this music. It just doesn't, no. It just, no, it's not for me, not at all. But music aside, the track is good. So with that, let's move on. Whoops, forgot the, all right. Anyway, as I was saying, with that, let's move on. Number seven. So here at number seven is Moomoo Meadows. A lot of people really debate whether they like Moomoo Meadows better or Moomoo Moo Farm. I definitely like Moomoo Moo Meadows much, much better than Moomoo Moo Farm. It's just, I don't know. Moomoo Moo Farm was just a meh type of track. This one, was, this one is actually a lot of fun. And this one I think was on my top 10 favorite Nitro tracks from Mario Kart Wii as well. And of course, it has to make it onto the retro tracks in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. It's just that fun. It's just that fun. Mm-hmm. It's just a lot of fun. And it definitely is a good starting track to the retro, I guess, tracks in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe here. Nothing much I really have to say. It is a really easy track, so then you eventually you'll catch up to the last place person like this. Nothing, not, nothing much I really have to say. It's a good track. The music is really good, too. So, let's just move on. Number six. So here at number six is Toad's Turnpike from the Nintendo 64. I feel like we keep going, Nintendo 64, other track, Nintendo 64, other track, Nintendo 64. <laughs> it's a weird combination, I guess, of tracks. Like I said, I don't have a Nintendo 64 Mario Kart, so I don't really know how well that one is. All I know is that it's a really hard track. This track, though, is a lot of fun to race on. I mean, it's a turnpike track. If you know me, I like the turnpike slash highway themed tracks. As you know from the Nitro tracks in Marco Wii, as I said, I really like Moonview Highway. So of course I like Toad's Turnpike, whether it's hard, easy, or anything, it's a fun track to race on. And I just, I don't know, I really enjoy it. Nothing much I really have to say about this track. It is a figure eight, by the way, which I guess is the best theme for Mario Kart 8. They should have brought back like every, every eight track like every track that was shaped in an E in this game they did like I think one and that's about it jokes aside this track is a lot of fun to drive on as it normally you get to drive off surfboards off many things the music is really good too which is nice you get to drive on the wall what else need I say the track is good and it's definitely top 10 for me so let's move on number five So here, midway through the list at number 5, is Rainbow Road, the Nintendo 64 version. So that means all of the Nintendo 64 tracks made it on to the list. Which is good, because I like all four of these tracks. I guess Rainbow Road would probably be my favorite, with Toad's Turnpike definitely is very close behind. Honestly, I was debating which... I didn't know which one I was going to do, but I don't know. 
I like this Rainbow Road. A lot of people didn't really like the original Rainbow Road because of how long it was. But this track is like, I don't know, short now. <laughs> Went from like the one of the longest tracks to the one of the shortest tracks. It's a lot of, it's just still a lot of fun to drive on. I'd honestly rather it be short than it be really long. The track is just really pretty to look at too. And, um, like, this one isn't actually in the, uh, outer, like, in outer space like most Rainbow Roads are. It's just in the sky. Honestly, I kind of like the Rainbow Roads in the sky better just because everything just looks so pretty. And the music is really good, too. I really like the music a lot, too. I think they did a very good job with this remake. And, heck, I think the remake music is even better than the original music. So... Not much else I have to say about this track. It's definitely very good. So let's move on. Number four. So here at number four is DK Jungle. I like the jungle theme tracks. They're a lot of fun to drive on, and actually, out of all the jungle theme tracks, this one is probably my favorite. And I know, I like DK Mountain a lot too from the Marker Double Dash, but I think this one is even better yet. They did a really good job with this remake. I think Marker 7's DK Jungle was fun to drive on, but this one, it's even better yet. This, I think, is the only music, this is the only music that hasn't changed since Marker 7, and the music didn't really need to change. The music was fine how it was, like the other two Nintendo, or the other two Marker 7 tracks. Anyway, so music, um, definitely is about the same as it was because it's the, the change. But this track just looks so much better than it used to. I mean, it used to look decent, but it looks like, I don't know, way, way better now. I still remember the first time playing this track, and I was like, whoa, this is a Markart track? This is cool. Like, I like the, I don't know, everything about this track. So, what else need I say? Let's just move on to the next track. Number three. So here at number three is good old Grumble Volcano. This was one of my favorite Mario Kart Wii tracks, and I'm really happy they brought it back to Mario Kart 8, because this was, like I said, this was one of my favorite Mario Kart Wii tracks. And it just, I don't know, it looks even better now. It's not quite as hard as it used to be. Mario Kart Wii's Grumble Volcano was fun, but it was a little, it was kind of hard. But this version definitely is much easier. Like I said before, my favorite, one of my favorite things about this track is how everything shakes and then just falls in. Like, I've always loved that about this track, and it's so unique in comparison to, like, I don't know, some of the other tracks where you just drive. This one is just so cool. That it's de That's definitely one of my favorite things about this track, where everything just, I don't know, falls apart. And it's too bad more of the stage doesn't fall apart. I think that I think it'd be really cool if that would happen. But I'm happy with what we got. And the song is still pretty just okay, like the original was. It's nothing awesome or anything, but it isn't bad. It's just an okay track or okay music. So, in conclusion, this track is a lot of fun, and I think it improves over the original. So with that, let's move on. Number two. Like I said before, oh wait, I didn't even say what number this is. This is number two, and it is Music Park. So anyway, like I said before, with m my top 10 favorite Mario Kart 8 Nitro tracks, I love Electrodrome. It's such a fun track. 
and I was surprised when I first played this that there was two music tracks. Out of the two tracks, I think Music Park is better than Electrodrome. I just feel like, I don't know. First off, I like the music better. I mean, Electrodrome's music is good, but I think this is even better yet. And I like how you can drive across many things like the piano, the xylophones, the drums. Like, Electrodrome doesn't have that. Electrodrome is more of, I guess, of a modern type of um, dance party, and Music Park is, I guess, more of a classic one. Both tracks still really good, but I think this one is still a bit better than that track. And this one was close to being number one, but I think there's one track that's just a little, little bit better. Just a little bit. So, let's move right on. And now, number one in my personal favorite Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Retro track is... So, my favorite track, apparently, is TikTok Clock. And I just love this track too much. It was it was it was probably my favorite track from Mario Kart DS. Like I said, Mario Kart DS was the first Mario Kart I ever, I ever had. So I got it back when I was like, what, 8 years old? And one of my favorite tracks was TikTok Clock. I don't know, I just like the track. I like the music. And then in 2014, I got Mario Kart 8, and I was happy that this track came back. Not knowing what Retro and Nitro tracks were at the time, but now I do. And this track is honestly probably still my favorite track. I mean, it, it had to be on the list somewhere, right? For me, it's probably my favorite. And honestly, the whole Lightning Cup had a lot of fun tracks. This one probably be my favorite and, oh, well, my favorite retro track that they brought back. I don't know, I just love this track too much. It's a fun track, and definitely one of my favorites. And the song, yeah, the song is really good, too. I think this track definitely improved over the original, and I think the song is um, better than the original, too, because the original sound good, but this one sound better, I think. So with that, not much I really have to say about this track. It's a lot of fun, and definitely my favorite. So with that, I hope you all enjoyed this list, and I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.